Um, hi, good morning. So I made breakfast and I'm going to show you what I made. For some reason, this camera doesn't give me the option to flip it around. It's really weird. But anyways, I'll show you what I made. I know my house is a mess. I have this. Can you see? Because I can't see. Cause it... So I made that and I made this. And also this kickstand, if I put it down without the... It goes like that. So I use the, the thing on my pill, whatever, to do that. <laughs> and it's so hot in here. So I'm going to show you what I made. I'm going to tell you what I made. I made some of that scrapple, except this time I put it in flour because I saw that you're supposed to put it in flour. Okay? I also made some tomatoes that I put on the cast iron for just a couple of minutes. And I have this bread right here. I really like this bread. I'll, talk to, I'll tell you what this bread is. It's called cap, Kabka. I also made like this um, salad, which is, it's um, apples, um, honey, blue cheese, and walnuts. And some pepper. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. So I made that. Mmm. It's so hot. Mm. I really like Scrapple. It reminds me of Pennsylvania Dutch or something. It's really good. I really like Scrapple. You can eat it. I eat, I'm just eating it like this, like in little bits. It's good, though. Mmm. Yeah, when you put it in flour first, it kind of keeps a consistency. The other time when I made it, it was really, like, mushy because I didn't put it in flour. Mmm. That's so good. I was going to tell you about this bread. I love this bread. It's called... It's called babka. Babka bread. And it's another, like, Polish type of thing. Polish type of bread. And it has raisins in it, cheese, margarine, yeast. So this kind of bread, the other day for Labor Day, and I, I will put some of that, um, let me have a bite of it. I put some butter on it too. Mmm. It tastes like dessert. It tastes like, mm. it tastes like it could be a cake. This is so good for breakfast. Just have one of these with some butter on it. It's really good. Mm. Mm. The other day, for Labor Day, um, I'm gonna have a sip of my orange juice. We went to my cousin's house, and um, it was Polish. He, he um, his, her husband made Polish food, so he made um, pierogies. <clears throat> kabasi with sauerkraut and bacon in it. I, I mean, I still have leftovers, but I ate it yesterday for lunch. And he made, he had that bread. He had um that corn, like, that's so good too, that corn thing. I love it. I still have some of that. It was like a corn casserole bread. So he made that. I'm going to see if I could put some of that together and... Just to show you, you know, I'm gonna have this tomato. Mmm. Yeah, so I bought that scrapple the other day. I don't want to waste it. That's why I'm, you know. But it's really good. I like scrapple a lot. So this is like, um, you know. Mmm. So I didn't go to work today. I took off. I didn't call out. I just had to take off from weeks ago because, let me tell you something. Back in June, mm, you could put this on top of toast too. I wonder how it would taste on top of this bread. It tastes really good. <laughs> mm, this is so good. 
My dad likes scrapple, so I should give give them some. You know. I mean, a lot of people are saying it's like terrible for you. It's just all the pork, the pig, you know, that they don't want to use like a hot dog kind of. I don't care. This is like some, you know, Pennsylvania Dutch style food, which I live about three hours from the Amish country. We have a friend that's Amish. My parents do. Sorry, I was talking, food came out. My parents have a friend, Anna, and she lives in Indiana. Indiana Anna, she's Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, I mean, she's Amish. She's not Pennsylvania. She's in. Anyways, my dad calls her mom because my grandmother, her, his mother, um, Christian Puerto Rican lady, you know, she um, died when I was like six. But I loved her. She was so such a great grandmother. Oh, I have like this little fucking fruit bug. Plug. Mmm. I'm gonna eat some of this salmon. I want to eat the tomato too. It's like warm, so it's kind of weird. It's not cold. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, it tastes weird. I like cold tomato. That was just weird. <sighs> so, Anna. I never met her though. I would love to go because she knows everyone. When my parents went to visit, they went to visit her house. You can't take pictures though. That's the thing. You can't go there with a the camera, you know. Um, but they were welcomed in with the, with all the Amish folk. You know, they saw their lifestyle, their way of life. I'd really like to experience that, you know. And my parents actually have a true Amish friend. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so this is such a good food. Yesterday I made that taco salad that night. That walk it was kinda like a walking taco. I like it because you're, you use a lot of vegetables and I have to start incorporating fruits and vegetables. I made um, mm. you can even put this on lettuce and just make it a salad, you know. Mm. I love blue cheese. I also have feta cheese. I went grocery shopping. I didn't really know what to get. And I bought a bunch of produce and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I have all that scrapple and pork oil too. It's like, I'll make like one meal a day. I don't know. Mmm. I have to take a shower, it's really hot. I'll tell you why I took off work. It's really hard to eat and talk though. Mm. That's the thing with produce, you buy all this produce and then it's like, you don't find time to, like, use it and then you waste it. I don't want to do that, you know. I have, I mean, just snacking on vegetables, like even raw, is good. And then you're, it's very light. Like yesterday when I made that taco salad, I did brine up some beef. I bought, I still have half, I did half a pound of, um, I still have some left so I can make tacos and stuff. But, um, 
I put a lot of vegetables in it. And eating, eating like that is really, just really healthy for you. Salads, you know, salads are very filling actually. So I kind of want to finish up the scrapple and, mm, I'm going to finish up the scrapple and the um, pork roll so I can really concentrate on eating healthy. Ah. You know what I mean. I'm probably on that. Mmm. This is so good. Some of the honey. I want to do like, um, I want to do like, um, some kind of charcuterie and film that. So today I have a court date because back in January, June, not January, when I was coming home from Britney Spears concert. I kind of got lost, so I was with my sister. Mm. My friend got me tickets to Britney Spears. They were playing near me by the sands. Mm. So, he got me tickets, so we were driving back and the cop pulled me over and I had no idea why. He didn't tell me why. I guess she ran my plays or something and saw that it was, um, I didn't drink, Lisa drank, my sister drank. Mmm. Yum. He saw that, um, my license was suspended, okay? I didn't know it was. I paid my... So, I had a notice in the mail. Mm. I asked him why I was at Susbenden. He said, because I wasn't paying my New Jersey surcharge from a DUI I got over 10 years ago. Okay. Ah, this stupid thing. I got DUI over 10 years ago, and my friend, the same guy who got me Britney Spears tickets, said, stop paying your surcharges, you know, I could get you out of it. So for a while I stopped paying it, but then I restarted it, and I was paying what I could afford, which is like $100 a month, and I printed out everything, proof that I'm paying my surcharge every month. And back in May, I only paid fifty dollars because I I didn't have money and that's what I could afford. And I didn't realize that I was gonna get suspended because of that. So what happened was that was really good. <laughs> All that breakfast was really good. Um, I'm gonna take one of my pills, which is levoxythyroxine. It's 125 mcgs. Mm-hmm. I haven't been taking my birth control pill though. Huh. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Something weird. Like, I'm, I kind of just, whatever. Anyways, ain't none of anyone's business. But, so the thing is, I didn't pay my, no, I was paying my new dirty surcharge. I just wasn't paying 132 a month because I didn't know that I supposed to, I was paying $100 a month and I, it got suspended and the, the letter wasn't even sent to me, it was sent to my parents' um, address, my old address, and and 
And we got it two days after I got the ticket, so I, I was not even aware that I was suspended. So I have the letters, and it's dated on the 18th. That's when I got the ticket. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, um, I only had this last slice of apple. Mm. And also, we got another notice, the fruit. We got the first nose late and the second nose late, so both of them came late. The next day we went to Motor Vehicle, and I paid my $100 restoration fee to get my license back. So, um, I do everything right, I'm not trying to, not trying to cheat the law, I'm trying to really be careful because I'm on probation from the Pennsylvania thing, and <clears throat> I don't drink and drive, you know, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. So... I don't know, you know. I have my my court date at two. Right now it's eleven fifteen, so I'm gonna start getting ready for that. But I have all my documents printed out. I have my letters. You know, I have proof that I was paying my surcharge every month. I have the receipt from um when I paid my restoration fee. So I really you know, I it's not suspended anymore. I don't want any fines. I don't want nothing like that. I could potentially go back to jail because I was driving on suspended, but I had no idea it was suspended because if I if I would have known, I would have paid the hundred dollars right away. You know, as soon as I found out it's when we pay, I paid that restoration fee the next day. You know, because it was night when I got pulled over. He had my sister drive my car back and said to me, he said, "Well, we, you can't drive it." My sis and he asked my sister if she was drinking, and she said, "Yeah, a little bit." She did drink. She was drinking a lot, and the cop had her drive, you know, after she was drinking. He could have gave me a warning and say, make sure you get this tomorrow, you said, but he didn't. So now I have to deal with this shit. I have two tickets, too. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'll update later, but I have a lot of cleaning to do. Look at that mess. When you cook, it gets a mess. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. This breakfast is, I feel like it was, I mean, it wasn't completely healthy, but I'm getting there. Like, I'm going from just eating terribly. When I was, like, a couple years ago, I was eating healthy, healthy, healthy. Yesterday, I had fruit sm smoothies. I got lots of fruits, whatever. But, you know, I'm trying to incorporate um, lots of vegetables and fruits. Vegetables. Anyways, thanks for watching. He's outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. What a nice surprise. Wow. Put in front of her. Terry, you want me to take the picture? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Uncle Larry, Uncle Larry. Uncle Chicken, I'm going to take an extra, extra fish because you said that. Yeah. Oh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Huh? Oh, okay. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> wow. Better late than never. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, birthday. Wow. Uh, okay. Blow out the candles. You made a wish for me. <laughs> Oh, yes. that's a good idea. Look, Serena.